Hi there, this is KR and I am wel welcoming you to my channel and a little tutorial how-to video on working with textures in abstract art. I often work with textures and I really like the, the look that they give you, sort of a 3D sculptural effect to your paintings. And there's several ways to lay down texture uh, to get different looks and there's different types of texture to use and I'm just going to cover a few of the ones that I use and how I use them. This first one I use is um, a fiber paste and you can see the texture on this little painting. If I turn it sideways here you can kind of see a rough and bumpy texture a little bit and what this does is this is going to increase the absorbency on your canvas so you kind of get that washy watercolor look. I used it on the bottom half only. I laid it down thin and uh, sometimes I lay it down thicker but you can kind of see it like that and it is not on the top half. So that is one type of sort of a subdued texture for that washy watercolor look. Another kind of texture is a light modeling paste. And this is another one that I did with light modeling paste. Um, it's kind of hard to see. In person, you can see it easily. It's a little bit of a floral, abstract floral pattern in the center of the canvas. And if I turn it sideways, you might see it a little better. Don't know. It's got definite texture on the canvas, most of the canvas, with a little bit of an abstract floral pattern, and then I laid down a wash of colors, um, pinks and uh, light spring green, white, a little bit of gold on this one. The next one that I use is also a light modeling paste, and I laid it down heavier on this one, you can tell. This is a little more structured texture, and this one has uh, some colors laid down over it. Turquoises, blue, gold, white, but you can definitely um, see and feel the texture on this one. And I laid this down a little bit more of a structured pattern. The next one that I use is a heavy modeling gel. And this one is a more, a far more structured pattern that I laid down. This little painting is named Pretty Baby. And you can see the pattern is laid down through the center of the canvas only, not on the top. And this is laid down with uh, various palette knives and structured and then a wash of paint is laid over it. This one is a very pearlized effect has golds and some pearly white and it's just a subdued kind of very pretty effect and I also did that on this one this is Royal Treatment this is a little bit heavier canvas and if I bring it closer you can really see the texture laid down on this one and this is just a layered um, heavy gel modeling paste and it's not done on the top and then a wash of colors, turquoise, and a metallic turquoise and gold were laid down on this as well. In addition, here's another one that I'm sending out, and this is a large canvas, and this is called Tranquil, and you can see the texture laid down in the center line of this canvas. It's a very subdued white wash of colors, blues, greens, etc. And that was created with um, some fiber paste as well as a light modeling gel. I used both of those on that canvas. So coming back over here, I'm going to show you the actual texture products. The fiber paste I use is good old golden fiber paste. The heavy gel matte is generally what I use. I have used the gloss. It does create a glossy effect. This is a matte effect and I use this one most often. often. 
And then there is a light modeling paste, and this is just one brand you can get. Comes in tubes or jars. This is Blick, Blick Artist Acrylic Modeling Paste, and this is a little bit lighter um, body than the heavy gel. So that's a little tutorial on working with textures and modeling paste and fiber paste and um, heavy gel. Hope to help. Have fun painting.